because you were like a seed investor in the early days and like Ripple, Kraken and so forth, um, Zcash as well. Can you tell us about that, uh, you know, specifically Ripple and some of the other bigger companies? Yeah, and uh, a lot of people sadly confused myself as being some sort of Bitcoin cash maximalist. But no, I'm a I'm a peer to peer electronic cash or, or even any tool that enables more economic freedom around the world maximalist. That's what I want more of. And it's so, like I would literally was the second person ever involved at Ripple. This guy named Jed McCaleb came up with the idea and reached out to me and says, hey, Roger, I see you're busy in the Bitcoin space trying to promote this as money for the world. I have an idea on how to do Bitcoin that doesn't require mining, so it'll use less electricity. Are you interested in supporting that? I said, sure, let's let's give it a try. And so like, I you know put up the seed money to start Ripple. I was literally the second person ever involved. And it wasn't even called Ripple back then. The name of the coin, because we didn't have a name, was called New Coin. And New that's coin. what the folder on my computer for all the documents associated with that was literally called New Coin for years until I finally you know updated the, the name of the folder there. But uh, but all, all sorts of things uh, out there as well. Uh, anything that works, Kraken. Uh, a lot of people today know blockchain.com. Yeah. Uh, blockchain.com used to be called blockchain.info. I was literally the second person ever involved there. There was the original founder who had just graduated from high school. And I reached out to him and I said, hey, I like this Bitcoin thing and I like what you're doing. Do you need some money? And he said, yeah, I should probably get a real server to run it on. Right now I'm running it on a Mac mini in my mom's bedroom at home. And I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll help you get some money for a real server at a, a data center for this. And uh, so I was literally the, you know, the second person ever involved at blockchain.com and, uh, and you know, put up the seed money for BitPay and, and a bunch of these other businesses out there because I want peer-to-peer -peer cash for the world that enables more economic freedom for the world. And I don't care what the name of the coin is or what color it is, but I want it as quickly as possible for as many people as we possibly can. And so I want to help build the tools to enable that. So how many crypto companies do you have in your portfolio to date? I haven't counted, but probably, I don't know how many of them are still in existence, but uh, the total number of investments is probably over a hundred at this point. Wow. And and Roger, if you don't mind me asking, you know, the the, 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 fund, the funds for all these investments come from your Bitcoin holdings, like, uh, you know, being an early adopter of, of, of uh, investor of Bitcoin as well. Some of it definitely came from that, but some of it came from, you know, money I earned in the Bitcoin field by running Bitcoin businesses. And then a lot of it, like when I first got involved in Bitcoin, I was the only person that had you know any money already because I had my previous business memory dealers and so before Bitcoin had ever even been invented I was already a multimillionaire and so I had the money from that to start sprinkling in all these different Bitcoin businesses and then when the price of Bitcoin went up you know I, I crossed the line from you know multimillionaire to the billionaire club um, but that was that was later right tough question for you do you think Ripple is going to win this yeah I think Ripple will win mm. but uh, but if, if I can add to that. They'll win at the at the at the expense of you know maybe tens of millions of dollars, maybe a hundred million dollar plus spent on this. That's all money that they could have used to pay you know software engineers to build better tools to build on Ripple or better user interfaces or better wallets or or better you know user integrations with all these different things. So that's you know maybe maybe a hundred million dollars of fees that went to not make the world a better place and the world is that much less wealthy than it otherwise would have been. The world is poor than it otherwise would have been. Fewer people have food to eat, more babies die at childbirth. Like the Bitcoin maximists love to make fun of me for saying that. But if you look at the countries with the highest rate of you know GDP, more babies survive childbirth, right? So if you want more babies to survive childbirth, you want more economic freedom that leads to more economic growth and more economic growth leads to more babies surviving childbirth. And the way to do that is not having to spend hundreds of millions of dollars fighting the, uh, the SEC uh, with stupid lawsuits. And uh, so I really would like to see a lot of that sort of thing come to, come to an end. What's up, guys? It just so happens that the whole entire world can see that Ripple will win this case, but at a huge cost. Anyone who's invested in this coin before the lawsuit was filed understands the pain of this coin's bearish trend. XRP went down below a dollar, and that's all thanks to the SEC. But really, does this mean that this coin is another shit coin just waiting to collapse? Well, if that was the case, I guess it should have already collapsed by now, right? But for some reason, Against all odds, XRP still stands strong among the top 10 cryptos in the world. I believe this coin is likely going to be one of the most valuable cryptos in the coming months, and that will happen when the SEC finally decides to settle this case. As always, welcome to Moneyside, your favorite crypto channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get updates when we drop new videos. Don't forget to smash that like button, and you can always leave a comment or a question 
in the section below. By now, I am sure that XRP could have changed the whole crypto game with the money that Ripple is spending in court to hire attorneys. And that inevitably would have pushed this currency to even five digits or more. RippleNet is revolutionary. And that's something that no one can deny. And we all need to accept that. Unfortunately, because of the media bias, most people think that this coin is a security, which is not the case. What the SEC did to Ripple slowed down the bullish run of this crypto. And when all the other cryptos were making a solid bullish run in 2021, XRP only did a small price jump and then went down. In fact, it didn't get to any new all-time high. XRP underperformed its previous expectations. The SEC's lawsuit choked XRP's bull run, and we expect that to change in the coming future when they settle. The biggest problem now we have in the SEC is that they say one thing and do another by the next day. Additionally, they don't want to share the Hinman notes, and this is going to break the whole cryptoverse. The most unfortunate part is that the media consistently continues to portray SBF as some kind of hero. This is someone who has misappropriated user funds leading to the biggest crypto collapse of the year. Now, why doesn't the SEC go for such an individual instead of wasting their resources going after Ripple, a company that has been in the forefront of innovation? So RippleNet is trying to take on Swift. What's been the traction light? Who's come on board? Well, it's interesting as you step back and look at this. If you and I decided we we're going to send $10,000 to California today, the fastest way for us to do it would be to drive to the airport and fly it there. That's a crazy thing to think about when you're in the age of the internet and you know, we're used to information on demand. When we think about the, the customers that have come on board, it's because we're solving that real problem. We're changing the nature of a payment taking days to settle to California to seconds. So we now have well over 100 customers ranging from some of the biggest banks in the world to payment providers to the Western Unions and MoneyGrams, Linlin Pay out of China. How it's many out. banks? It's, it's over 100. I actually don't know the exact number now. Uh, we Last time we announced it publicly, we said over 100. Uh, we'll probably announce the next one when we get to over 200. We're signing up more than a bank a week now. Why do you think banks are willing to partner with Ripple, even though this company is in the middle of a lawsuit with the SEC? Guys, I think it's time that we all wake up and see what is right in front of our faces. Ripple will inevitably take over in the crypto world, and XRP will be the new crypto king. Now, would it be wrong of me to assume XRP could be the next dominant reserve currency? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You can let us know always what you think in the comment section below. Let's start a conversation. Thank you so much for watching. Couldn't be here without you. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below. And be sure to turn on notifications. That way you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next Money Side.